Vast sums of money are being invested by businesses in creating digital channels for their customers. The thinking is that not only will this dramatically improve customer experience, but the added benefit is also that this shift to digital services will reduce the need for live agents and associated costs. In fact, many companies have expected to save more than 40% through reducing live contacts. Yet companies that take this approach often see their customer interactions increase rather than decline, despite significant efforts and resources. Let's take a look as to why that is and how we can quickly create an effective omnichannel cell service capability. Cell service adoption across the enterprise has had mixed levels of success. Our research based on engagement with hundreds of large enterprises shows that self-service generally is poorly adopted by consumers, resulting in higher costs through manual channels. And this view is corroborated by industry analysts such as Gartner, who have run similar research on a much wider scale. There are three reasons behind this poor adoption. To start with, IT departments tend to look at the problem from their own perspective, not their customers. This is a problem for IT, as any cost savings through automated self-service channels can only be realized if customers actually use the digital channels. So poor self-service adoption results in a double whammy, poor customer experience and higher IT costs. The second contributor is the time that it takes for IT to provide relevant self-service requests to their customers. IT typically takes an inward-looking approach to understanding what its customers are looking for. This is a very time-consuming activity which dilutes value and outcomes. Finally, attitudes and appetite for self-service is dependent on demographics and habits, so IT needs to consider that no single tactic is guaranteed to be successful in all cases. But it's not all doom and gloom. I have good news. To address these challenges, we have created a set of outcomes-based managed services addressing four key areas. The first is adoption benchmarking. For IT to deliver relevant services through self-service channels, it needs to understand the entire customer journey, not just optimize contact points individually. A combination of activities including AI-based adoption benchmarking, engagement with business communities, focus groups and surveys are required to understand self-service motivations. The output from this type of benchmarking includes a clear roadmap with adoption plans and relevant KPIs that can be tracked over time. Next, we move on to contacts and channel strategy. Customers have different communication needs. Self-service must enable these different touch points to work together and support customers' preferred journeys. As the number of channels increases, Expect customers to fragment over them across their age groups. Expect also the channel preferences will change depending on the context of process, location, and time. Leverage the customer segmentation from the adoption benchmarking in the previous step to better direct engagement and support efforts across appropriate channels for the target audience. The third element is rapid content expansion. For high adoption, IT services need to be personalized, equally accessible across all channels with access to relevant knowledge targeted to the audience level. Failing to do this results in consumers to fall back to the traditional high-touch costly channels. To support this, we have created a critical mass service catalog with over 100 services common across most IT organizations. This content is supplemented with relevant knowledge articles and automated fulfillment workflows to help organizations deliver a fully functioning critical mass service catalog in two to three months. And finally, fulfillment automation. Automation is the real reason why self-service makes so much financial sense. And using AI, we can automate both channels and the fulfillment processes. For example, AI-enabled chatbots can guide users to knowledge or services that they're looking for and can help them complete their task on a 7 by 24 hour basis. AI is also used on more traditional channels such as emails to understand intent and actual automated workflows on behalf of the user. 
In today's digital world, organizations must understand the entire customer journey and apply the right technology at the right time to build greater customer engagement. The omnichannel approach to customer service provides a convenient and accessible way for customers to interact over the channels that they want to use. This type of consistent, proactive cross-channel service will put organizations ahead in building and maintaining relationships with their customers. Over the next three videos, we will dig deeper into these areas. I'm really interested to hear how you are addressing self-service in your organization. Drop me a line or put down your comments below. Till next time, goodbye.